Hello again. Dr. Novocaine is in the house, and the prescription for today is Rockman Gaiden. The author's name is Sophia. <coughs> the hack is of Mega Man 1, as you can probably guess from the title screen. And the game is very red. Let's go see what it has to offer. <coughs> Lots of options. Six of them, to be exact. Gutsman is usually not too difficult, so let's try him first. Oh, that's uh, Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. And this is familiar music too, but uh, it's not coming to me right off the bat. Ah, uh, bladers, 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 get out of my way, get out of my way. <sighs> I'm going to create more pain for myself by respawning. Okay, I know I've heard this music before, but I can't place it. Anyway, so far I'm pretty pl I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing, but uh Well, I'm not happy with that, but that was my own fault. I start off with the typical three lives. Some hex I've seen them do five. If the hex starts you off with five, you kind of want to be worried. Because I'm telling you, this is what you're going to need. At the very least. I tell you, even with unlimited continues and basically no loss of progress, we still think you're going to need some more help. <laughs> and we'll take that and kind of run. Later, out. Okay, I'm tired of you. I am very tired of you, and you are making me respawn other enemies. Okay, thank you very much. You are on my list of number one hate. Ah, this would be a good place to take advantage of Magnum Beam for a shortcut. Too bad I don't have Magnum Beam. What I do have is Blayers blocking my fall. Ugh! Ah, that's more like it. Okay, well, let's go move on. Oh, there's... I'll say that I'm not totally digging the aesthetic of this stage. It's a little bit too <coughs> gray and bland overall. A little bit more color would be nice. Okay, well, I can get extra life or I can get health. I need the life more than I think I need the health at this point. Oh, especially with infinitely respawning enemies to kind of grind off of if I should need it. This is the only challenge that's going to be presented in this part of the stage. I will not have much trouble getting. Oh, I spoke too soon. I am kind of not sure that I'm not going to respawn this guy. Okay, well, getting him trapped, second best. And, wow, that's the end of the stage already. And, wow, that's Gutsman up in the uh, rafters up there. What are you doing up there, Gutsman? Whoa! Can't really deal with the hammer bros very effectively here. Oh! At least I start here. Draining my health before I get to the boss. I love that. <coughs> oh, wow. You like to jump around a lot. Ah, 
How am I supposed to deal with you? I have no clue. Uh, I don't think Gus Man is going to be as easy as he was, but the last, um, as usual. I think we better start somewhere else. Well, we can try Elec Man. This is not music I recognize. He's not off the bat. Well, oh. and it's this one is a very pink stage. So far, they're all kind of uh, very monocolored, which I think. I think they could stand to use a little bit more variety overall, personally, but... That's my opinion, and I'm sure it's not shared by everyone. On the other hand, I do approve of the use of enemies which are easily ground off. Here's some electricity. Yeah, we've had our stage has been kind of not very electric so far. This makes up for that. Ooh. Good luck. <laughs> Doesn't really seem to matter one way or the other which way you go. And we have back and forth. Let me guess, I'm going to be going up that hallway next. Yep. Uh, I'm familiar with these games by now. Of course, actually hitting these guys and getting them out of my way is a little bit more of a challenge than it looks. Jumping in tinier jump shots and tiny ceilings, not easy. Oh, well this is clever. I did that so poorly, but uh, I'll do it better this time because I'm thinking. Or I won't have to worry about it at all because the uh, screen transition there glitched out things. And that is the magnet beam. I want that. I can't get that. Now I wish I had Gutsman's weapon after all. Well, if things go well... I might be able to use, uh, Elect Man's weapon on it. Ah! Okay. Better. Uh, Sniper Joe. You know, they call him Sniper Joe, but he's really not much of a sniper. Oh! This is an unexpected hazard? Easier to deal with than electric currents, though, so I will not complain. Alrighty, like man. Will I be able to deal with you without too much difficulty? I will be able to deal with you without too much difficulty. Oh, I just selected my stage. Why is Elect Man always the one who's made easier, for some reason? Maybe because he's so bloody difficult in the original. Oh, that's one robot master down, but I have to go get uh, his what, uh, that magnet beam. So, I shall return. 
And here we go! Precious Magnet Beam acquired. And yes, Thunder Beam functions like it does in the original game. I am certainly happy about that because it is also just as powerful as far as I can tell. Well, I'm gonna go finish off the stage and then we'll head back to Gutsman. See if that changes anything. Let's see how much, uh, Gutsman here likes the Thunder Beam. I'm gonna give it half a damn about it. But... <coughs> I can at least make this area we fight him in a little bit easier to navigate. Okay, well, I'll find a little bit safer that time. Okay, if he makes a long jump, he's going to attack. If he stays away, I'll be fine! Ha! <sighs> and I didn't even take a hit that time. But part of that was because of the, I didn't have the raised platform in the center, so this was definitely worth it. Even if it wasn't his weakness. Now I have two weapons. And now I'll be able to go on to another stage. That's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.